Hello boys and girls, today we got something special for you. We are releasing a free brand new reverb plugin and it is a reverb that you have never heard before. Something special, it sounds great and unique. And I can tell you that a lot of research went into this plugin. I teamed up with two companies, Aurora DSP from Poland and Eve Audio, the studio monitor company from Berlin. And together we created something unique. So let me introduce you to the Invisible Verb Pro. And as I said, it's a free plugin. You can download it. There's a link below. Download it right away. But please watch this video first. Grab a beer, sit down, relax, and let me tell you the story behind this plugin. Because, like I said, it's quite different from anything you have used before. So it's important to understand the story and it's important to understand how to use this plugin. Everything's different. All the parameters are different and so on. All right, here we go. So it all started like this. I had this idea of creating the most transparent and clean sounding reverb ever. We all have a lot of hardware and software reverbs. Just look here. Beautiful sounding Raumzeitmaschine from Tegeler Audio. Let me know if you want to see a video. It sounds amazing. But this doesn't sound transparent. This doesn't sound neutral or clean. Or take the Rotten Pool Verb that I just released together with Aurora DSP, far away from sounding transparent and clean. So now we're talking about something else. I wanted something that maintains, that preserves all the qualities and all the, the character of your dry signal. I wanted something that doesn't fuck around with your dry signal. I wanted something that keeps it as clean as possible. I found like every, pretty much every reverb was coloring the signal a little too much. I needed something more neutral, more clean, and more transparent. So here's what we did. We actually went through three stages. The first stage, and this was how I started, was like, I was like, how, how do I get some, how can I make a reverb cleaner? And I was like, of course, I have to get rid of the reflections. I wanna create a reflection-free reverb. And how can you do that? Well, you need an anechoic chamber where there's no reflections, right? So I traveled to Berlin and went to Eve Audio where they have one of those rooms that they use for measurements and I captured IRs inside that room. Have a look. This is the entrance and this is where all the magic will happen. <laughs> The most deadly sounding room ever. This is totally dry. This is our setup. Eve SC 2070 monitor, measurement microphone. And then I actually spent two days in that damn room, that was also quite creepy, and tried a lot of different microphones, tried a lot of different mic positions, and used one of those robots they have there to capture endless IRs to, to, yeah, to find the most clean sounding and reflection free sounding IRs. And it, I gotta say, it was a lot of work, but it worked pretty well. So that was the first goal, to create something that is absolutely reflection free. Then came step number two, and here's where I teamed up with Eve Audio. Then I talked to Roland, the main engineer behind Eve Audio. He was the one who, by the way, designed this lovely um, tweeter, the ribbon tweeter for Adam Audio and later for his own company, Eve Audio. Brilliant German engineer. So he helped me. So we actually turned the impulses, the impulse responses into an algorithm. So we turned this from an IR-based reverb into an algorithmic reverb. And the main goal was 
to get rid of any coloration because even in a, in a room like that, you have a certain coloration and you don't have a total frequency linearity. So he created an algorithm that depending on your input signal, removes any unlinearities in the frequency range and makes sure that the reverb does not add any color or any additional frequencies. That means we ended up after this algorithm, which was when we first started super CPU heavy, by the way. So this algorithm makes sure that we not only have a totally reflection free reverb, but it's also totally colorless and totally linear and totally free of distortion. And that's why we call it the invisible verb. And that's when I teamed up with Aurora DSP from Poland. As you know, we've already done some stuff together, like the rotten pool verb. By the way, $19, get the rotten pool verb. Make your life a little more dirty. It's great. It's quite a, the opposite to the invisible verb you see over here. Um, so Aurora DSP's job was, of course, to create the plugin. That's what they do. That's the first thing. But we also wanted to make it tweakable. You see, there's a lot of different parameters there. And what they managed to do was incredible. For example, they found a way to go from infinity, infinity reverb, to double infinity and even further. And that was mind-blowing. Believe me, it's mind-blowing. And we also got the invisibility parameter where they actually managed to tweak the invisibility character of, of the plugin. It's also very amazing. And we found a way of giving the plugin, let's say, different shades of invisibility. You have to hear it to, to believe it. It's just incredible. And we even added an expert mode where you can really fine tune everything. It's super subtle, but you're gonna enjoy it. There's a lot going on. Like I told you, like it analyzes the input signal and um, removes anything that could be, could be heard. You know, it's it's very, very interesting. It's like next level shit. Thanks a lot. Brilliant engineering from both Roland and Aurora DSP. Thank you guys. You are great. But now it's time to show you the reverb. So um, it is subtle. It is subtle. Invisibility, especially, is something that is very difficult to hear. So you need a proper monitoring environment, okay? So let's get started. Let's move over to Cubase and uh, I'll show you what the plugin can do. All right, so what we got here is a set of multitracks of a fantastic sounding hard rock power metal song. Those multitracks right now are available inside my Academy Cola Audio Cult. Everybody can mix this track. And this song comes from a project called Sonic Interaction Design. And it features musicians like Dirk Verboeren, who now plays in Megadeth and used to play in Soilwork on drums, and Björn Englien from the Ingvi Malmsteen band on bass, and it's actually a Ingvi Malmsteen cover version. Oh, so if you want to mix that song, there's a link below to my academy, become a member of Color Audio Cult and mix that song. I mixed the original, which sounds like this. Nice song. So here we got a rough mix of the multi-tracks and that sounds like this. And now I want to use Invisible Reverb Pro on some of those tracks. Let's start with the kick and let's start with something really subtle. Let's turn it on. And I just want to have like a touch of the reverb. I want to make it just like a touch of infinity and make it pink. Let's see what happens. Can you hear that? Bypass. Very subtle, but listen to the added atmosphere. I'll give you a touch more. You see, the dry signal is unchanged. It makes it a little more stereo, a little deeper, a little wider. Amazing. Let's just keep it like that and move on with the snare. We got two snare mics. So we take the top snare mic only and add Invisible Reverb Pro here. And now I will go for almost full wet. 
and we take a longer tail, go to ultraviolet because that just suits a, a, a metal snare and make the density shape a little more aggressive and turn it on. Now listen. Bypass. I mean, you can hear how amazing this is, but the tail is not long enough. Let's make it, it's crank it fully. This is like 200% infinity. <laughs> I've just touched three parameters and you know, this sounds so much better. Okay, let's move on. Um, overheads, where do we have the overheads? Up here. Let's turn it on. Overheads, you know, shouldn't be too aggressive so we go to the triangle which is a little more a little more gentle and we go to ultraviolet of course make it not so big because we want to have our overheads in our face maybe 50 percent and let me fine tune it a little bit amazing bypass So everything sounds exactly the same, like the, all the character is there. You hear it, all the character of the dry signal is there. You're not destroying anything. You're not covering it in reverb or something. It just sounds exactly the same and just a little more invisible. It's fucking awesome. Okay, let's add something huge to whatever, the vocals. That's cool, let's, where are the vocals? Cool. So I go to 666% invisibility. <laughs> And uh, I cranked the Infinity Enhancer, okay? And it's 100% wet, and the vocals sound like that. Sorry from death, devices of destruction, devices of death, he's chained down to the earth, not like birth. And you can see when I bypass the plugin, it just falls apart. What kind of man also fly? He's chained down. On. What kind of man also <laughs> Incredible. I'm, I'm, so <laughs> I'm so amazed, you know, how something can get so much better without actually changing much, you know. It's invisible fucking magic, you know. I love it. I hope that's enough for you. And this is a free plugin. So you just go down there, you download the plugin and you put it on every damn track of your mix and start experimenting with the different, uh, with the different knobs. And you can get a lot of different, a lot of different sounds from very, very subtle and small to something huge like you've just heard. Okay. And we've also got an expert mode, but you can check it out yourself. <laughs> Motherfuckers. All right, everybody, that was the Invisible Verb Pro. Get your copy now, it's free. There's a link down there to Aurora DSP. No joke, you download the plugin, get it for free, enjoy it. Put it on all your tracks, make your tracks just sound a little more invisible, okay? So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks to Eve Audio and Aurora DSP for making this possible. I always wanted to make a plugin like this on a beautiful day like this. And um, once you have used the plugin, don't forget to leave a comment here and tell me how, how you could use it. You know, I only want to hear positive stuff. Uh, let me, what's, what's your favorite, what's your favorite use for this plugin? Vocals, guitars, or maybe orchestra? I haven't tried it on, on violins or something. You tell me, tell me how you use this, this reverb, okay? Um, if you're interested in mixing this song, there's another link to Cola Audio Cult below where you can download those tracks. If you are a member, and we also have tons of other courses about recording, mixing, mastering, um, all kinds of heavy music uh, and free plugins and IRs and samples and a lot of other cool shit. Check out Cola Audio Cult. It's a cool place. Um, my academy. Okay, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, <laughs> I see you in hell, motherfuckers. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.